And so once again, our certified financial planner, Grant Van Sell, is in the hot seat in studio to talk to us about different kinds of investment strategies. And for those of you who are financially savvy and investment savvy out there, you might know of something called an active investment and something called a passive investment. But for the rest of us, that's why we depend on Grant <laughs> to explain these kinds of things to us, man. How are you doing? Very good, man. Always good to be back. Fantastic. I love spending time with you always. Likewise, likewise. So let's get to the nitty gritty of understanding what these two options are a little bit better active investing and passive investing okay cool so active investing exactly in the description it's a, a mandate by asset managers or fund managers that are actively managing the portfolios mm -hmm. passive investing has very little uh, human intervention and is really tracking a specific index so like something like the all share index or de depending what sector in the industry you're wanting to track that you feel that you understand, it will track that specific index. So there's very little active management, hence the wording passive. It's passive. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get to that in a bit, but let's go back to the active investing strategy and the rationale behind having a manager okay. of an asset fund or your investment. Yeah, so I think the rationale behind active management, which is pretty much the biggest uh, strategy that most people use mm -hmm. today, is the fact that there's highly skilled individuals um, that are making decisions. Uh, you can also, depending on the economic times, you can adjust your investment uh, uh, asset allocation so that you are within those sort of economic volatilities. Mm -hmm. um, then also what happens is the different fund managers or asset managers can create funds and those funds will have risk categories or profiles attached to those funds. And there's a specific benchmark in each one of those funds. And mm -hmm. those asset managers, the idea is to outperform that benchmark. Okay. Um, so that's why it gives you a little bit more diversification mm -hmm. um, from an actively managed investment strategy. Yeah. So on, on the one hand, if you have an investment manager who's actively managing your portfolio, on the other side, at the passive investment strategy side, who do you depend on there? Yeah, so there will also be a fund manager, but the fund manager is going to be very limited to the input that he puts into that fund. So okay. he'll choose a specific index. So let's say the, the top 40 shares in the all share in, uh, on the JSC. And basically what he'll do is he's going to try and track that index as close as possible. So that's the whole objective. It's not really to outperform it. It's just to track it. So people that will go for the passive sort of route will be someone that thinks that the index will outperform or whatever their inflation rate is in their basket of goods over time. Okay. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's very little interaction. It's normally what we call ETFs, exchange traded funds that are put together by portfolio managers, but it's not really managed, it's just tracking an index. Okay, sounds very, very interesting, but I guess the big question is then, which one of the two strategies is the best? Is there even a best one, or does it just, does it just depend on your own, uh, I guess, risk portfolio? We'll ask Grant about those questions a little bit later on. Stay tuned.